It was supposed to be a story about a spectacular star-studded fashion show by the hottest new designer. But because of a scheduling mix-up, the celebrities and models left sometime after the event last night. So in order not to walk away empty-handed, I decided to don my best blue steel pose and do a fashion story on what was going on there. Florida Supercon. South Florida's comic book, anime, animation, fantasy, science fiction, the cosplay, you name it, we do it, it's a festival. Although more D&D than D&G, the Florida Supercon has a style all its own. They call it cosplay. It's costume play. Uh, you basically dress up in your favorite character or whatever costume you want, and then you walk around and you act and you are and embody that character. They can perform skits on stage, we have cosplay events. You come here, people take your picture, it makes you feel special. You're among other freaks. And it even had celebrities. You may remember this guy getting choked by Darth Vader in Star Wars. Star Wars is, is, a, is a thing. It is part of people's lives. You may not recognize this guy from the movie Twilight, but it's a pretty safe bet your daughters do. I heard it's got, you know, some little cult following. And this kid talking to the hottie in the cat ears? Why, that's young Boba Fett from the Star Wars prequels. He's a chick magnet, man. Come on, look at the armor, you know? What girl doesn't want a guy in armor? What girl indeed? Cause, you know, by that theory, this guy is getting all the chicks. So it made me wonder what Twilight fans were like. We get all sorts of fans. We get like Twilight, Twilight moms. You know, older women who are just fascinated by this series and they're passionate about it. Uh, yeah, I call them twilfs. There was also an overabundance of karaoke going on, which normally would not be curious to me if it were in English. So all these Japanese anime cartoons have these poppy, catchy Japanese theme songs. And these kids just, they, they dress up those characters, they sing those songs. But of course, this is supposed to be a fashion story, so... Cue the obligatory runway music. Next time, I need to make sure to bring out my cosplay outfit. I'm Buster for Deco Drive.